I'm Melissa, the founder of ProudDogMom.com. Welcome back to my channel. I get a lot of emails from pet parents asking about flower substitutions in treats, and it's all because their dogs have unique dietary needs. So if you've checked out my biscuit recipes before, you've probably seen things like almond flour, coconut flour, garbanzo bean flour, even oat flour and brown rice flour. Those are some of my favorites to use. But another one that I like to use is quinoa flour. It's actually toasted quinoa seeds that are ground up to create a flour. It works really well in biscuit recipes. So today we're making something I like to call quinoa crunch dog biscuits. Let's get cooking. Start by preheating your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and lining two baking sheets with parchment paper. Set that aside for later. To make these biscuits, you will need one and a half cups of quinoa flour, half a cup of coconut flour, one large egg, a quarter cup of 100% pure pumpkin puree that is not to be confused with pumpkin pie filling, which has ingredients that aren't so healthy for our dogs, two tablespoons of coconut oil, and two tablespoons of water. Add all of your dry ingredients into a large mixing bowl, grab your whisk, and combine that all together. Next, add the wet ingredients. First, mix it all together with a spoon. It's going to feel super crumbly at first. Just get in there with your hands and knead until you have a dough ball. It should have a Play-Doh-like consistency. Now, let's roll. The dough, that is. Layer a baking mat, a piece of parchment paper, your dough ball, and then another piece of parchment paper. Now, grab your rolling pin and roll your dough out until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. Stamp out your biscuits. These go into the oven at 325 degrees for 25 minutes. Once the timer goes off, flip them over, and then they go another five minutes. And this is what the biscuits look like after they've come out of the oven and have cooled on a wire rack. As far as storage goes, you can keep these in an airtight container in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. Or if you want them for longer, you can always put them in the freezer and they will last up to three months. This recipe might look familiar if you have my cookbook called Proud Dog Chef Tail Wagon Good Treat Recipes. This is actually a spin-off on the Protein Power Bites, which is in one of the biscuit chapters. If you do not have my book yet, you can get it pretty much anywhere online books are sold. Amazon and Barnes & Noble are obviously the biggest ones. And there are 60 recipes in here, all treat recipes, and they're all gluten-free, grain-free, and as I I like to say they are dog approved and they're gonna make the pup tail wag. So if you like this video, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you leave and hit that little bell so that way you get notified every single time I post a new video. Happy baking!